looks like we're there. Typical, isn't it? I've woken up. Maybe 40 minutes or something like that to check on the camera. I fell asleep on my last timer. Then we just checked. It's a bundle of piglets. So I'll come out and explain. So I don't disturb her. So she's had uh, 14, fifth, well, 14, uh, four of which were dead when I arrived at, at her back end. So I, I don't know if they were stillborn or whether they just didn't make it. I haven't looked at the webcam yet, uh, which is annoying. I mean, they were still warm when I got here and I feel like maybe there was something that could have been done, but that's in the past. One of the stillborn ones um, was quite runty, um, but the other three are oh, a bit gutted really because I just don't know if we, well, you never know do you? Anyway, ten healthy little wriggly piglets is all good. She has moved once and nearly squished one, which I whipped out just before she squished it. Um, yeah, she's moved in the stable so many times that I mean I can't put bars up everywhere in there. So we'll have to just see how she does today and then uh, make a call on that. Right, bit of an update. I think the afterbirth is all finished with. So we'll tick that box. She's grunting away, chatting to them. And my little run is slowly, slowly starting to learn now what, what's meant to be happening. Problem is some of these bigger ones are so strong in comparison, they just smash her out of the way, or him. And also, they've got flipping sharp teeth. I've been bitten twice. Are really quiet. Look at them. Okay. Really, really careful. Take down. Okay. 
I promised warts and all when we started this farming. So here you go, here's your first load of warts, you ready? So pigs will eat their own after birth. But if they don't, we need to get rid of that. Because as you can see, it's uh, not nice with flies around. It's a shame because I bet there's a lot of goodness in there. It's a shame she's not getting into it, but don't blame her. Uh, I think this has to be dealt with in the same way as the fallen stock, minus the straw. So when a gilt or a sow is going down to feed, they'll often lie down against a wall like she is now. And it's very easy when something is that big and something is that small to crush a piglet. So we just need some rails, a little bumper around there, which would mean that as she lies down, there would still be a bit of a space. That's why you see all those horrible farrowing crates in factory farms. The idea is that the piglets are kept separate and that minimises the risk of crushing, which is common sense. Um, but in here, it's a bit of a free-for-all. She's a good mum, she's on her fourth litter, third, fourth litter, so I'm hoping that she's going to go down slowly, but just then she did flop. And that's probably, good. it's just boiling up. It's just gone nine o'clock and it's over 30 degrees already. The trouble is, she is so strong anything. I can't use sheep hurdles because she'll just throw them around unless she will be quieter and calmer now that she's got piglets. Little Runty's doing okay. A bit shivery. But she has been feeding. Board on the wall here is pretty secure. I reckon if I put a couple of big square posts on there and then a board along, that'll give us something solid enough, along this wall at least. I've got a plan of action and I'm also having a rocket lolly for breakfast. Sorry. Let's measure up. I've made it up, now I've got to get it in stealth mode. Typical, the bum's in the way. Well, that is finally managed to get it in. It's working a treat because, worst comes to worst, the piglet's going to get stuck in that little bit. I'll have to wait for her to move or wait for us, but better that than being squished like a piglet pancake. I'll tell you what, they're an adventurous bunch for, what are they, four hours old? Cooler off. She's definitely hot. I 
like a nervous dad, aren't I? Do you want to go with me saying I wasn't this uh, attentive with the girls? <laughs> Pretty sure I was. I've set up camping here. They're getting more adventurous every minute. I've got a little pal down here. Nice run to you. just had a good shower. Just trying to cool off. I've got to go and do the school run now, which means I'm going to be gone for half an hour. She's got to get from there to there without squishing them. I guess it's nature. A brief interlude, shower and change. And I've been watching the camera. And I can only count seven or eight piglets. It's pretty pixelated, but it's still warm in here. Good girl. And correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woohoo! Good girl. So, my evening job is to get a rail in here. I just don't trust it. It would appear we've got a new problem piglet. Runty from this morning. Won't stop feeding. She's got it sorted. There's another little runt. About the same size. Who is just completely lost and wondering. Watch the other one. Well, I'm still struggling with that runt. But runty from this morning. Fierce little critter now. This is him here. He won't let anyone in. Or she. These strong ones just try and come and push him and bite them, but she is a fighter. Unlike this one at the back there. Under the barrier, who just won't latch on. And as soon as I find somewhere for her, she gets pushed off. Really should have had. Right, I'm going to take one run off for the other. Oh, it's like midnight and I've been sat there waiting for her just to get up. Oh, oh. No, she's not going to go, is she? Right, day two just popped in. A bit cooler this morning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is our weaker one last night. I stayed as long as I could to try and get her to feed, but nothing. I've just picked up some goat's milk, so we're going to try that. 